Welcome to Spread. I'm Matt Rabel. To kick things off this week in January, Dash Financials announced an options ATS during the midwinter meeting of the Security Traders Association of Chicago. JLN's Suzanne Cosgrove interviewed Dash's Stino Melito at the event. Check out the podcast of the interview at johnlothiannews.com. If you like the first part of our interview with former SIBO member Tom Zagara, you'll love the second one. Among a variety of other things, he talks about a drug bust on the SIBO floor in the 1980s, helping out brokers, and dishes on the rise and fall of Steve Fawcett. The coronavirus has been wreaking havoc on society at large, you may have heard recently, yet the markets are still surprisingly bullish especially the options markets. Trading volumes for U.S. options are now almost as high as volumes for the underlying stocks, especially for big tech companies like Apple and Google. The majority of the options traded are call options as well, which implies that options traders are making a lot of bullish bets on these stocks. On the other hand, J.P. Morgan's top quant strategist, Marco Kalanovic, also says that fear of fallout from the virus has a lot of people piling into low volatility stocks and bonds, hoping to ride out the storm. Lots of news from SIBO this week. The Chicago-based exchange is going to be presenting at the City Conference and Credit Suisse 2020 Financial Services Forum on the 25th and the 27th, respectively. Both are going to be webcast on SIBO.com. A study also came out this week from Wilshire Analytics showing that option selling index strategies using SIBO's Russell 2000 options indices can potentially provide a nice little cushion against downside risk. And last but definitely not least, MyAx had a big week as well. Tom Gallagher, the executive chairman of MIH, which is the holding company that runs MIAX, was elected chairman of the Bermuda Exchange, which MIH acquired last year. On top of that, MIAX reached a new record for spikes options, with open interest of over 150,000 contracts in February and a new daily volume record of over 100,000 contracts on Valentine's Day. There are even more options news on the page below. See you next time.